pinafore, 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 pinafore dress. I want to make a pinafore dress because I've never had one and I don't hate them because uh, my school uniform wasn't a pinafore dress so that's good. I did have uh, suspenders but it wasn't a pinafore and it was navy blue so never mind. I chose this fabric because I thought it was different and I really like it. It has really good weight so it's really nice. I think pinafores are quite versatile because even though you have a pattern and a fabric you can style them with different uh, sweaters and jumpers and blouses underneath so I think it could be nice. So I'm going to be learning quite a few things today because uh, I don't have a pattern obviously and I'm going to take it, uh, I'm going to draw it from my uh, block and I don't want it to be really thin and narrow I want it to be more of a dress so it will have a bit of a cleavage but it doesn't matter because you wear something underneath and then I want to make a circle skirt which I've never done before so that's going to be nice it's going to be nice what do you think my internet? Hmm? To make the skirt I'm going to fold twice and trace the length and the waist and to trace the top I'm going to use my block of measurements, trace a pattern that I like, cut twice the fabric, so it right sides together before attaching it to the skirt and adding the zipper. I'm going to start with the circle skirt and apparently for what I've seen uh, you have to fold your fabric and measure the length you want it to be and then to cut the the bit that is your your waist you have to measure your waist and then cut a fourth of the waist measure a fourth and cut the little angle so let's see how it works and a good trick to measure the length of your skirt or trousers and don't miss the the measurement is to hold it upside down that way your measurement is up here on your waist and you don't, you don't need to worry about the length because it's the length you get I have my fabric folded in four and uh, I have more than enough well, I have enough because uh, the width of the fabric is 150 centimeters. So um, the length I want to give the skirt is uh, 63 centimeters. I'm going to cut 65 uh, to give it that extra bit for seam allowance and all that. And uh, what I'm going to do is to um, I'm going and what I'm going to do now is to uh, draw this 65 like this in a circle and then this bit that is going to be uh, my waist uh, we have to cut it and I have seen two different methods I've seen the waist measurement divided by pi and or the waist measurement divided by 4 so I'm going to calculate that and cut the, <laughs> the one that is the, the smallest one and then we'll see because we can always cut more. Coffee time! Tch, tch, tch. 
Irene from the future here. Irene from the past made a really uh, stupid mistake. But don't worry, I managed to solve it. So don't skip this part. few people who watch this channel uh, have more experience than me sewing and I'm sure they have suffered a lot watching me cut so much to make the waist. Mm, I was wrong, I don't know, I, I watched loads of people doing it before and I don't know what I did wrong because I followed the steps so I definitely have to dig into it a bit more. So it was huge obviously, it was like a, a family size pizza. So once I realized uh, my mistake, just opening it, I, saw, I thought, oh my god, this is wrong, I've ruined the fabric. And it's such a pretty fabric. Uh, so I attached it again and that's why we have this nice band. It looks nice, I mean, I don't hate it. But well, I managed to save it and then I only had to cut like um, this much to make the waist So I don't know. I don't know. I have to I have to read more about it and make a few more so To learn to learn. This is about learning so uh, You didn't see all that because I was having a panic attack in silence uh, <laughs> So I attach it again, I six stitch it everything uh, because it's a fabric that uh, frays a lot mm. and then I managed to uh, hem the top by laying it flat and uh, folding it twice uh, really carefully because I think that isn't done like that either so I have quite a few things to improve so this is where we're at and I'm going to make the top and to make the apron the top bit of the dress I have my block of measurements I have the breast line here and I'm going to draw it below that because you're going to wear a cardigan or a jumper underneath uh, so it doesn't really matter, I'm going to make it quite deep and the same with the size and the back well, the back, it's paper I have my paper scissors and my pepper ready so, my pepper, <laughs> my paper ready This is my pattern, it's looking quite good, I think. And I made sure to, to fold it in half, so I had 
a really symmetrical line. And now I was thinking, this is noisy, uh, I was having a look at the fabric and it has this really nice fringy edge and it's a pity that this goes to the bin. So I was thinking if I cut mm, not lengthwise but against the grain I can use this as the the hem of my pinafore bit, the top bit, and I think it would look quite cute if I wear it with a belt on top and you can see the fringe. I'm going to do that. I'm cutting against the grain. Let's cross fingers. And on the chest line I'm going to mark so I can add uh, my pins to make darts so it's a bit more fitted and for that I'm going to measure one centimeter up and down from uh, the chest line. They're doing some work in my street. I hope you can't hear it as much as I do. And I'm quite happy with my progress. Uh, I thought the fabric was going to be a bit more difficult to work with because of the, it's uh, like a tweed, but it hasn't. It's been quite nice. Even the hem, all the hemming around and the arms, it's been quite easy. So happy about that. And although I love this trim, I think it looks really pretty, it would look really nice uh, on, on a jacket. But I think because I have another seam here, I think it crushes. So I'm going to just sew it uh, like you would do, uh, right sides together. So it will end up in, on the inside. Uh, so this is going to be quite easy to attach because uh, both things are open uh, so I'm just going to lay them flat and put right sides together and stitch all along it. So I was trying it on and I was quite happy about it until I saw this. What happened there? So I think I came to the conclusion that when I reattached the skirt because I had measured wrong the waist bit, uh, I didn't, the, the skirt reduced a little but I didn't cut a bit of the skirt panel because I didn't realize and now that little pizza slice it's making my headache because it is what's uh, what is wrong here so I'm going to uh, rip all this this side and then 
reattach it here so it's straight and to finish I'm going to hem it making sure I do it quite thin so I can keep the circle Thread. So this is the final result. Despite everything, I'm quite happy with it. I did the measurement for the waistband wrong, not the waistband, the waist hole. <coughs> the formula is your waist measurement divided by 2 pi. And I only divided it by pi. What meant that the circle I cut instead of this one was like a family size pizza and it was quite scary because I thought I had ruined the fabric but I managed to sit down a second and think and I reattached the circle and look for the formula again and after cutting it uh, I didn't realize but then uh, when I was going to attach the zipper I had a bit of fabric uh, extra so the zipper went to one side. Once I cut that bit, I managed to straighten it a little bit. It's still not perfect. I should have bought an invisible zipper anyway. I don't know why I didn't think about that. But anyway, that's another of my things I have to improve, zippers. I need to get another zipper foot because I have one for one side, so then when I'm going to sew the other side of the zipper, it's on the wrong side and it's a mess, it's really difficult. I'm quite happy with the zippers I've sewn, except for this one, this is not my, my best work. The ones for the jumpsuits and the latest blouse I made are really nice, they're good zippers, I was quite happy with them, but then this happened. <laughs> Anyway, I'm still going to wear it on Christmas Day, so don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can see pictures posing next to the Christmas tree or with the turkey or something like that. And I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm going to be trying a circle skirt again. No doubt about that because I think they're quite fun. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss anything and let me know down in the comments what you think, uh, what you thought when, when I was doing it wrong, if you cry <laughs> or laugh, anything, okay? See you next week. Bye. Oh, Merry Christmas. <laughs>